Yo, so we're in this electric ass cave. Things are probably gonna get pretty interesting here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray another repel so we don't have to worry about wild Pokemon. Since we were not able to get an encounter here, I don't even want to see what I could have got. So, <laughs> just continuing this way. This is go. Oh my god, look at how far that goes down. What the hell? We got some. I uh, got some twins hanging out here. Looks like we have a double battle. Let's just go with. Uh, let's go with Big Mama and Bizelf here. Let's see if they even actually battle. I don't know. We're the Nugget Brothers. I'm the big brother. I'm the little brother of the Nugget Brothers. You know, okay. Glad you showed up. I want to give you this. Oh, we just get a nugget from him. Okay. So, that's cool. And we get two nuggets from him. These guys are just out here dishing out gold to people. Okay. What a couple of nice guys. Well, so we can go over this way or... Okay, so we know we can go over that way. Let's see what happens if we head up this way, though. So, there is a Pokeball there. Found a Ghost Gem. Cool. And, well, freaking Drillber wanted to get me. So there is some Team Plasma stuff going on over here. Maybe I'll battle these guys, see what kind of happens, and then we'll go back over there to the left. So we have multiple ways to go. You, you came here because somebody manipulated you. You went against me, I'll tell you the secret. Oh shit, we about to, we about to be in on the secret, boys. So I got three Pokemon. Fan Jill has a Charmeleon, nice. Level 26, perfect for a Water Techno Blast here. And it's trying to, trying to learn, or trying to learn, trying to go for Focus Punch, so that's, that's fine, it's not gonna work, even if you were able to get that off, probably wouldn't hurt too bad, and look at how proud that Charmeleon is, he's like, yes, I am a beast, but then just gets destroyed, so next is an, an Azuril, okay, I'm gonna stay in here, and, uh, let's give you a low sweep, how about that, and that knocks you out, punch you right in the sad face, next is a Haunter, okay, level 26 as well, we will just Techno Blast you. All right, that wasn't too bad. What's the secret? Well, Gatsis of the Seven Sages supports our supports our king, and Gatsis has three subordinates. They're the Shadow Tribe. That's not a secret. I already knew that. What the hell? If I went against you, release your Pokemon. Whoa, that's a bit harsh. I, I never agreed to that. Okay, you're not gonna win, but still, you only have one Pokemon, and it's a Deerling. How adorable is that? It's level 28, so you know it's it's up there. We'll just give you a nice little low sweep to your cute little face. Sorry about that, Bambi. That's, uh, he's gonna knock you out. So there we got our little 32. Azelf is too damn good. So we're not releasing our Pokemon today, buddy. Nice try. Let's put Gump in front, why not? And, okay, so there's a whole bunch of these people up this way. What is up with that? Pokemon living in the Chargestone Cave are so beautiful because they are free from people. Yeah, I mean, you're always talking about how they're free from people, but then you guys are, like, using Pokemon yourselves and shit. I don't... I don't know. Croc and I here. We're both second level evolution starters. That's... Yeah, that's cool. We're friends. Mud Bomb's not gonna do shit. One more side strike takes care of you. And a Kakuna. Nice. Guy comes at me with the god himself. You guys remember in my soul so... Oh, I mean, it avoided the fucking... Oh my god, it avoided my Blaze Kick, and then Blaze kicked me right back. Holy shit, I was... Okay. Well, hopefully we land this one. But do you guys remember when in Soul Silver I came across the Lugia that turned out to be Kakuna because it was randomized? That was pretty funny. Fan Rachel has been defeated. And I should probably heal up here a little bit. Um, so all I have is 10 Hyper Potions and a Max Potion. I never That should be okay. Kind of overkill using the Hyper, but you know, whatever. We have the funds to buy plenty more. You, you are the trainer that my lord N is worried about. Oh yeah, he worried. So you got a Meloetta, that's kinda cool. Honestly, a lot of the time I forget this thing exists, but let's just go for a body slam here. A couple should probably do the job. You're not too scary, is kind of underwhelming. Oh shit, flame charge. Okay, well when you bust out a fire move, that'll kinda hurt a little bit. And okay, yeah, it does about half, does get the speed boost. We cannot afford to stay in here. Let's just switch right into Edison. Storm throw, which always gets a crit, and ouch. Let's just, uh, let's just spark you here. We can take another storm throw as long as it's not a super ultra mega crit, which is not a thing. So we eat that up, and spark is gonna do a lot. We do get the parrot as well, so now we can outspeed and finish you off. That's right, Edison is a fucking beast. Gump grew to level 33 there. Next is a Vile Plume. Um, so we'll just stay in here. It has sand stream. Nice. I really should heal here. I'm just gonna use this energy root. This thing's been sitting here forever. Hate to use 200, but whatever. Let's 
going to Fire Fang. Nice little Fire Fang Vile Plume you got there. And we'll go for a Psychic, should do the trick. I love Vile Plume. Look at his little face. He's getting destroyed by a Psychic and still smiling. That's. We can all learn something from Vile Plume. And the Sandstorm, his own Sandstorm, is actually going to kill it. Sorry about that, Vile Plume. Next is a B Drill. We'll stay in here and Psychic that too. Psychics all around. Wiggling your stinger at me, and that thing is dead. So, easy kill right there. And my god, there's so many of these guys. Well, we'll battle you two. Proud member, huh? You have two Pokemon, you have an Ambipom. Nice. I'll side strike that. Please don't bust out a super effective move. Astonish. Okay, that's perfect. And one more is gonna do the trick. Later, Ambi. Next is a Metacham. So, I'm kinda hurting a little bit here. Let's go into. Let's go into Bezo for that. Nipple Knee! Coming at me. Techno Blast. I'm running out of Techno Blast here, which is kind of annoying. And oh shit, that thing just used Blast Burn? No, that's not Blast Burn. Didn't hurt too bad. Ice Beam should do the trick. See you later, Nipple Knee. And man, there is a lot of trainers here. Somebody heal me up, please. Oh, did not mean to click save. Let's go ahead and I guess just use another Hyper Potion. I'm really running low. I thought I had a whole bunch more Lemonades, but apparently not. So I can go over this way and grab this here item. Turns out to be a Draco plate, so I have a hold item for just about every damn type in the game at this point. And I just push this this way, and it allows us to get to these guys. Repel wear off. So we'll go ahead and pop another one of those bad boys. Wherever I put them. I have, I have way too many items. Where am I... Am I looking in the wrong fucking... There we are. Look at how many items I have. Jesus. Alright, what's up, guy? The hope of Team Plasma. Well, it has nothing to do with you. Okay. Pansy. Got a Trubbish. Size Strike gonna absolutely demolish you. And that was easy. Okay, so now we can head down. Um, we can also go up. But we gotta battle this guy, too. Dang it. So many damn trainers. Alright, Crocker Rock. I'm gonna gear grind you. Boom. I honestly have not been taking advantage of gear grind just because Steel's not really ever all that useful. Weather Ball doesn't do much. One more is going to finish you. Next is a Watchog. So for Watchog, we're going, let's go into Big Mama, just because we can. Not too afraid of this thing. Poison Jab, which we actually didn't get the poison, which is amazing. And two in a row we didn't get the poison. Wow. Unheard of. Okay, so we can go up this way, and then I guess we'll see what, what there is to do. Over here. Uh, there's So there's N. He's hanging out over there. Then we got a scientist dude. Man, this cave just goes on forever. I want to solve all the mysteries in the world. For that purpose, I will keep fighting. Cool, so it seems like they're really kind of preparing you for a higher level. Uh, like, they're setting you up for... Levels in the game are going to get pretty difficult, it seems like. With all these trainers, they got to be level curving us pretty high. Let's uh, switch Gump. Let's put Addison in front. You are 33, so you're good. Uh, so we can push that. So there's probably... Oh, what's up, hiker guy? I'm a hiker exploring caves. I will teach you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. Let's see it, buddy. Marcellus here has got himself a Soul Rock. Very nice. I'll Ice Beam you. Doesn't quite kill it. Stomped. You don't even have any feet. How are you stomping me? Next is a Tepig. Um, let's just... For Tepig, let's go into Bezelf. And I think we have one Techno Blast left. Two. That's right, Tepig. I'll take a hike. Yeah, that's right, hiker. Take a damn hike. Okay, so here's uh. Damn, so this is where we already. We already were in this area, huh? Did I go across this bridge? I don't even. I don't think I went over this way, did I? What? Uh, oh no, I totally. I think I did go this way. Pretty sure. Yeah, I battled you. So yeah, we already went this way. Let's um. Ooh, found a ground gem right there. I wasn't even. I wasn't even clicking on anything. How the hell did that happen? What? I'm confusion. Okay, well, I'll take it, though. So, all right, back up over this way. I'm surprised I didn't go this way yet. I don't I don't know. Let's talk to Anno and see what's happening. Many different values mixed together, and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. This is the dream I must fulfill. Hayden, do you have a dream of your own? I'm going to say yes. Yes, of course. I'll learn what kind of dream you have in a battle. All right, so... I think this is kind of like the, the final thing to do in this cave is just to take on N here, so... This might be a little bit difficult. We got a bunch of experience, though, before, so let's see what levels he's rocking. Four Pokemon. Hot damn. 
Got an Electros. Okay, level 28. That's kind of scary. We're both some electric buddies here. I am going to go ahead and heal first, though. I only have eight potions left. We'll use one. Kind of see what this thing wants to go for. Jump kick. Okay, that kind of hurts a little bit. Now let's go ahead and Tail Glow. Let's get Edison in full fucking full power here. So we'll get that plus three in special attack. Jump kick again. That's fine. I am going to have to go ahead and Hyper Potion again. I only have seven of these, though, so i got to kind of use them carefully. Jump kicks. Okay, so now I'm pretty much free to hit you with... Uh, I'll just go for a Psychic here. After that boost, this will probably kill you. I don't know. Electros is actually pretty specially defensive, though. Okay, so it does live it barely. You get that drop. It goes for another jump kick, and it misses, and it hurts itself in the process. Good one, you doofus. Very cool. Okay. Next is a Gyarados. That's cool. We'll just stay. Why are you going to send in a Gyarados on electric type, pal? I mean, I know it's randomized, and you're not expecting me to actually have an electric move, but I do, so... You better catch this spark right in your mouth. It set up them uh, them toxic spikes, though. That's kind of annoying. Probably not going to switch Edison out, though, to be real. With that tail glow, we're looking like we're pretty good here. Metagross. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go for a Psychic here with the plus three, which still honestly should be okay. And, okay, yeah, no, never mind. That, that didn't do shit. We do get the drop, though. And this thing's going to U-turn. Shit. He's... Oh, fuck. Critical hit knocks us down to ten. Sweet Jesus. I don't know why I was expecting that Psychic to do more. I, I probably should have... Ice Beam is better, I guess. Okay, well, it goes into Krabby now. Hot damn. Let's go for another potion here. Get Edison up to full. This thing's going to Acid. Don't use Acid, kids. It's... Oh my god, this Krabby has Lightning Rod. What the hell are the odds of that? That is an OP Krabby you have there, friend. What the hell? I want a Water type that has... What the fuck? <laughs> that is no fair. Well, so Psychic should do it. <laughs> okay. Alright, here's that Metagross. We're for sure switching out here. Um, who wants to deal with Metagross, though? We'll go into... Uh... Mm... Oh, it has U-Turn, though. Fuck. I don't know if Gump wants to take... Oh, and we're poisoned. Oh, no. I forgot that it U-Turns. This is not good. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I just go into Beezelf. Low Sleep should do a lot. But then the U-Turn again still hurts me there. What the fuck? This is bad. Edison can't really do much. I mean, Spark can actually do... We're going back into Edison. I just switched Gump in for absolutely no reason. Let's get Edison poisoned here. And so it does just want to keep using U-Turn. So that's, that's fine, I guess. Let's go for a Spark. Try to get a parry here. See how much this does. It's kind of cool that Ann actually ends up having a strong-ass Pokemon like Metagross. Okay, so U-Turn again. And damn, we are really getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Got a Hyper Potion. This thing literally just only wants to use U-Turn, though. I really should have just stayed in with Lantern. That was a, that was a big old derp. But that's what you come to expect when you're watching my videos. Let's, uh, only four potions left. Gotta go for one more. Thank God all he, oh my God, crit. Okay, I can still go for another spark here and live. Oh, fuck, at least I hope I can. After the poison, I think I should be okay. Oh, it just barely lives it. Okay, so I think I was good not going for the, okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. As long as it wasn't a crit, we were solid. Okay. I'm just going to go for another potion just to play it safe. And all right, one more spark is going to do the trick. Thank you so much for not using a potion there. That would have been very bad. So down goes the Metagross. And Edison grows to level 34. Good job, buddy. And Gump as well. My friend's getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon... Oh, my God. Yep, I just hurt your friends. I'm, I'm real sorry about that. <laughs> Why? It's impossible for me to win while feeling bad about a trainer. About being a trainer as if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle that could make my, me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Okay, so Bianca is going to come at us and be like, Hey, thank you so much for beating in. Just a little further to Mr. Alton City. Cool. And Juniper comes as well. Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Hayden's voice from that far away. Hayden, who's this trainer? I, my voice, I didn't even say anything. How the hell? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between people and Pokemon. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules, and you think you can understand them like that? The very idea of a Pokemon revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? Yes, true. You're it's not all black and white, per se. 
You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat their Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. And he's out of here, so he's he was not happy about that, Juniper. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope we'll spend a little more time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go to collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. Cool. So what's happening, Bianca? I'm Hayden. I'm going to go with the Professor Juniper now because I'm her bodyguard. Cool. So we didn't actually explore fully this place. Before we leave, I do kind of want to see what uh, what goes on in here. What do we... So we do have some just some more battles, I guess. I guess it's worth doing. I don't know. We got a Cherim here. I'm going to Ice Beam you. Facade kind of hurts a little bit, and we get the freeze. All right. Oh shit! It broke. It, it thought out though. And uh, there we go, Edison. Next is a Feebas. We'll actually just switch because I don't want you to get any more hurt. You actually don't take poison damage from running around in this game, I don't think. Down goes the Feebas. Let's just put Big Mom in front that ho and hope that you can do it. I don't know how many more trainers there are gonna be, but I really don't want to. Don't want to end up uh, getting my ass kicked here. So there's just a couple more items there. We'll grab, we'll grab an earth plate. Very cool. And I don't really want to battle you. Well, repel we're off. We'll use another one. Super repel. Where the hell are you? I don't know why I keep. Why do I keep losing these damn super repels? What? Am I out of them? I was on it. Oh no, we're good. We have six more. Okay, let's just go down this way, and then we can go right around and grab this here Pokeball, which is an X defense, so completely worth my time to go get, for sure. I'm not going to battle that lady, because I ain't got time for that. And did I go this way yet? Oh, there's another Pokeball over here. It turns out to be a King's Rock. So I have so many damn items, I don't even know if I need more shit, to be honest. My bag is full as hell. But there is still one more, one more path in this cave that I have not gone into yet, I believe, which is... Just up over... Oh my god, that repel did not last long at all. Why does it not stay on the same spot? I'm confused. I open my bag and it's like... Not on the same item I was just using. So I think... Down this way, yeah. And then over here to the left, there is another door. Which I was going to go to initially, but then I saw the Team Plasma people and I was like, I gotta get that shit going. And it doesn't look like there's really anything here. Oh, okay. Well. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to end up getting lost, so you know what, I'm just running back. We are getting out of this damn cave. I've had too much electricity for one day, or two episodes, <laughs> and so it is time. Um, I run this way, I'm just going to use all the rest of my damn repels. There we go, stay done with that time. Thank God for the speed up button, we push you there, we push you there, and then we can just go like a this. And all right, so that is the light. We will walk directly into the light. And we have made it into Minstralton City. Minstralton City. Minstralton. Cool. Well, we're going to heal up here. Well deserved, buddies. And first things first, I am going to buy some more. Let me get a whole bunch of hyper potions. I have two in my bag. I'm going to make it 18. We'll make it 20. There we go. Very cool. And all right, so let's kind of just see. What's going on in this place? Skylar's grandfather was a legendary pilot. Skylar's our city's gym leader. She's a really nice person. Good to know. Got ourselves a nice little house here. Everybody's just chilling in a square. Everybody calls me the reminder girl. I know every move that Pokemon learned when they're leveling up, and I can make them remember these moves if you bring me a heart scale. So there's the old move relearner. Don't have any heart scales though, so I think the move relearner is really all there is to do in this place. That's right, I'm the move deleter. Oh, there's a move deleter as well, which I... Kinda, do, should I delete anything? I could, I guess I could get rid of Cut on Big Mama. But it's honestly not... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, actually. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of Cut. And let's actually... Yes, thank you for that. I believe I can... Uh, do I have... I have Strength. Yeah, so Strength is an 80 power move, which is actually really good for Kangaskhan because... It's stab, and uh, that's, that's actually really nice. So we just traded cut for strength. That is perfect because that's way way better. So cool. Repel wore off, but uh, oh, what's going on here? Who the hell are you? So there's Skyla. 
Oh, hey, Hayden, right? Let's see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 274 Pokemon, eh? Staggering. You've seen a clink. You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me, I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name's Juniper, too. Cedric Juniper. Heh, <laughs> the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl has told me a lot about you. Very cool. Really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Oh, th thanks for that, guy. What a nice, what a nice fellow. Some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you have already seen a form, you can check it with when, uh, when, whatever you want. Also added a function to make searching easier. Cool. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introduction. Skyler, this is a friend of my daughter's. Hayden is traveling around Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see, so that means we'll be challenging the gym. Damn right, oh boy. I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Hayden, you should challenge this gym. If nothing else, the gym is really out there. Cool. See you, Skyler. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Cargo plane, it carries cargo, not people. You're talking as if places like Kanto and Cinera are right around the corner. Skyler, if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that and be a shame. <laughs> okay. So, this is Skyla, she wants to battle me. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Hayden, as a gym leader, I'll be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something else I need to take care of first. Just now, as I was flying to the car cargo plane, I saw something on top of this celestial tower. I'm sure, it's that. I'm sure that it's a sick Pokemon. If it is, I just can't leave it there. I have to look into it right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower, you can come along if you want. Cool. So that is our next order of business, but first we're going to kind of just see what else there's going on here. Strewn with windblown leaves. Cool. Strewn. Cannons, cannons. Skyla's gym is full of cannons. What? A lot of greenhouses. Talking about veggies. Nice. If you have a gym badge from Miss Strelton, Miss Strelton will tell you something cool. Oh, okay. Well, I'll come back as soon as I get that, buddy. Don't you worry. So, what do we got over here? Only planes that fly out of Miss Strelton are cargo planes. If trainers want to fly, they can go with Pokemon that knows fly. So, here is like the landing strip thing. There's a whole bunch of airplanes and shit going down. And here's the gym, which we can't do anything with yet, but this is kind of cool. Pokemon and people work together to open desolate land and make a place where everyone can live. I'm certain this cooperative spirit will remain unchanged. No doubt. No doubt. So, yeah, not really a whole lot going on in this place, but we can talk to you. What are you doing? Dangerous to play on the landing strip, but you should be okay on ours. We only have one cargo flight to take. Nice. Guys stoked on planes. Over here we got ourselves TM63 for Skydrop. I think that was randomized, but Skydrop's a perfect move to be finding in on the landing strip. That's actually kind of cool. Maybe that was supposed to be there. I don't know. Here's a bunch of greenhouses. Probably just growing some weird shit because we were not able to actually go in any of them. Vegetables grown in a greenhouse are the best. Temperature and their nutrients are all managed systematically. Vegetables grown in a completely efficient way taste extra delicious. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all there is there. This is not really the biggest city, to be honest. There's not a whole lot here. Here, many people have had their Pokemon stolen by Team Plasma. Yep, those no good Team Plasmas. So, we finally get to a new route. This is Route 7, and we can catch a new Pokemon here, and I really hope that it's something good, because we need to add something new to the team. What is it going to be? It's Ryalu. Okay, that's not too bad. It's level 29, holy shit. Why are you so high level? Let's just go for a strength here, see how much that does. I fucking- I killed it! What the hell? I didn't expect that to- I didn't expect that to kill it, to be honest, I thought Ryalu was- Oh my god, I am an idiot! I guess- I mean, Ryalu wouldn't have been too- too good, but I really- I honestly, for some reason, didn't expect that to kill it. It was level 29, what the fuck, man? I can never, I can never catch anything. I, I literally, I'm convinced that this is the team I'm going to have to beat the damn game with. That raised walkway, if you stand still, you fall off, so you have to keep moving. What? If you stand still, you fall off. Huh? Well, I'm not going to fall off. Oh, okay, I just did on purpose, because I want to go talk to these guys. Next is a Gardevoir. That would have been a great one. That would have been freaking fantastic. Damn it. I forgot that Riley's not steel type. What the hell? What? That's not a Pokemon, just an ordinary trainer. Alright, we got a Yan Mask here. Yan Mask, we will knight daze ya. So, some pretty damn high levels. Level 29. This is kind of kind of intimidating, but we're okay, because we got a 33 there. Next is a Sea King. Fuck yeah. Sea King. Go ahead and give you a couple, couple of these here Seed Flares. And you are dead. 
Next is a Nido King. Okay, we're not gonna play any games with Nido King. We're going into Bezelf here. We're gonna Techno Blast you, which should kill you. Yep, that does. Well, 29 Nido King, you are spooky. Over here we've got a Pearl. Cool. And Geo Dude. All right, what's going on with you guy? Oh, okay. Gira giraffe Rig in the way. Sup? Sometimes you find more than just strong Pokemon in the tall grass. You don't say. Well, you gotta center it. Thing is level 30, and I probably should. Oh shit, it has judgment. My god. I should have just strength. Strength is a better option than poison jab for sure. Next is a fortress. We will go into Gump and Blaze kick the shit out of your walnut. And it avoided it. What the hell? Quick attack and a blaze kick is not quite gonna kill it, which is honestly surprising. But one more is gonna do the trick. And alright. So that's really all there is in terms of trainers here. And I should probably go back and heal up. But alright guys, we're gonna end the episode here. We're gonna kind of explore some more around this route next time. And maybe hopefully end up catching something if I'm not stupid enough to kill it. So <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.